Ready for the second bout of the evening. You see in the blue corner with the black shorts and the black socks, Damien Antoine, 38 years old, from Akron, Ohio. Five feet, seven inches, 10, 38, and two, Mike. That's his record, five knockouts. In those 38 losses, he's been knocked out 10 times, and he's certainly gonna be tested here against Zachariah, AK-47 Ramsey, one and all with one knockout. His win coming two months ago here in this very ring against Alan Beeman. He knocked him out in the third round. And we were very impressed with Ramsey, who like was 96 and four as an amateur. We were very impressed with his skill in the ring in his last fight. But he did get a little cocky in there at some points in the fight. And that was something we wanted him to work on in his second fight. Get all those flashes out in your pro debut. We'll see if that changes here in the second fight. Yeah, we'll see and take a look at how it goes. That was one of the things that stood out to me was how Ramsey came out really showing no concern whatsoever for what Alan Beeman brought to the table. And rightfully so, he dominated the fight from start to finish. Antoine, a bit more of a veteran, kind of comes in awkward, Pat, if you see some of these shots he's throwing. Rivera, uh, rather, uh, Ramsey tends to keep his hands down when he approaches. That could be a problem against a fighter with more experience. It may not necessarily hurt him here against Damon Antoine. Damon Antoine last, lost his last fight. Won the fight previous before that with a knockout over two and two Ronnie Green. Before that, Mike lost 10 fights in a row. One thing you do have to say about Damon, though, he does take on tough competition. His last 11 losses, Mike, a combined record of the opponents, 166 wins and 20 losses. This is a guy that will pretty much go anywhere from Akron, Ohio for a fight. Yeah, I mean, th those records are always deceiving. You have to look at who the fighter has faced, the level of the competition. Obviously, Damon Antoine has faced some elite fighters. Right now he's facing a young up-and-comer with a chance to be elite. We'll see if he can work out some of the kinks from that first fight. I think one of the things is when you step up in level of competition, some of the mistakes you get away with in your first two or three fights, you won't get away with down the stretch. And I'm sure that's one of the things that Ramsey's corner will harp on, win, lose, or draw. In that first fight against Alan Beeman, we saw how Ramsey really controlled the entire pace of the fight. Mike, he had it at a point after that first round where Alan Beeman wasn't even throwing punches back. He was literally just trying not to get knocked out in that fight. And now you see here that Ramsey's certainly going to be throwing a higher volume of punches, and he's going to try to use his speed to really confuse Anton and get him on the defense, see if that same game plan works here in his second pro fight. Again, Ramsey a winner in his pro debut two months ago. Antoine's kind of an awkward opponent. He comes in at all different angles. It's really tough to get a gauge on where he's going to be and get your timing down. It seems like one of the things that Ramsey's having a hard time with so far. You see with Ramsey, he keeps that left hand down almost by his kneecap. I mean, he's literally picking that thing up to throw. That takes a little more energy as a fighter, but he gets that thing off pretty quick. Antoine really just trying to cover up to the end of the bell there. Comes back with a big right hand, misses. Ramsey taking a chance there, allowing that jab to slip in. Of course, he blocked it, but it's a risky move as a young fighter. Yeah, it's something he's going to have to work on, Pat. You really can't come in and keep your hands down like that. You have to show some respect for what your opponent brings to the table, even if there may not be much reason to do so. You can't go by the 10 and 38 record. you got to respect it as if he is 38 and 10. Get to dig that fight. Anybody can get caught in the sport. Little, you okay. saw it in the first fight. You've seen it so many times before. Fights where we may think one fighter has a significant edge, and he gets caught once in the right spot. That's all she wrote. And I would think that's what Ramsey's corner is telling him. He has Peter Manfredo, uh, Manfredo Sr., among others, working his corner. We'll see what kind of instructions they give him. Mike, you also have to take into consideration, this is Damien Antoine's 51st pro fight. So he has 50 more pro fights than Zachariah Ramsey. He has five knockouts. He has four more knockouts than Ramsey. Obviously, the record's a little lopsided. He still has way more experience than Ramsey. And we'll see here if Ramsey continues to allow his opponent to throw those punches, maybe thinking that his defense will be able to slip by it, see if maybe he does get caught. And probably the best part of Ramsey's defense is his speed. He just gets out of the way of punches. He's not necessarily a technically sound defensive fighter yet, but what you throw at him, you're often going to miss because he's so fast and elusive. See right there, he ducked out of the way and got right around his opponent, Antoine. Again, Ramsey in the red and white trunks. Damon Anton, 38 years old, in the black trunks. 
Just a slip there, caused him to go to the canvas. Oh, they're actually going to call that a knockdown there. Surprise, looked like a slip to me. Check out the replay in between rounds here. And Damon Antoine couldn't believe that was a knockdown either. Referee Joey Lapino, one of the better refs in New England, called it a knockdown, and that's what they're going to go with here. Under two minutes to go here in round number two of a scheduled four. Off his head, break! Ramsey making his second pro fight in this 2012 Twin River Casino Thursday Night Fight Series. Jimmy Birchfield Sr. treating the New England fight fans to Thursday Night Boxing. More slick defense there by Ramsey. And Antoine, 38 losses, but he's only been knocked out 10 times in those 38 losses. So we may get a test of just how good Zachariah Ramsey's power is in this fight if he can knock out Damon Antoine. Been landing some nice punches here and had some good defense, certainly winning the first two rounds. Did have a knockdown in this round. But Antoine at this point still looks unfazed many of the big power punches. I say that, he gets hit with a pair of right hooks and now Antoine a little wobbly. He really regained his composure here. And Ekarai hits him with a jab. See if he comes back with that right hand. Back doing a very good job with his jab, keeping Antoine away from him in the center of the ring. Final seconds to go here in round number two of a scheduled four. Antoine comes back with a body shot. Goes right off the padding there of Ramsey, and that's the end of round number two. We're halfway through this fight. A knockdown there in the second round. You're going to think Rams is probably up three points at halfway through the fight. You're going to wonder if Antoine's thinking coming on the next two rounds looking for a knockout. He does have five knockouts in his ten pro wins, so half of his wins have come by knockout. Let's take a look here at the knockdown. Referee Joey Latino called in the middle of round number two. Folks, tonight we introduce you to Brady Sports. See the jab. There and still not sure where that knockdown came from unless Ramsey maybe stunned him with that jab and Antoine came lunging forward, maybe lost his balance. Of course, Joey Lapino has the best view out of everybody. Ready to start round number three, again of a schedule four, halfway through this fight. Zachariah Ramsey in the red and white trunks. 1-0, one, oh, one knockout from Springfield, Mass. His opponent, Damon Antoine from Akron, Ohio. 10-38-2 with five knockouts. Antoine had a win against 2-2 two and two Ronnie Green a few months ago. Before that, had lost 10 fights in a row. Antoine and Ramsey colliding in the center of the ring here. Looks like Antoine may have connected with a punch there. Ramsey wiped it right off. And now Ramsey taking advantage of Antoine who's trying to talk to the ref. And Ramsey just applied the pressure there. The thing about Antoine though, he's not afraid to get into a flurry of punches whenever Ramsey Gets him on his heels, he's able to come right back by lunging forward and getting Ramsey on the defense. <laughs> Pair of jabs there by Zachariah, now training with Peter Manfredo Sr. Frank, 
little under a minute and a half to go here in round number three. See, Ramsey still has that left glove down by his side, keeps his right hand up pretty well. And now Antoine just lunging forward, trying to connect with anything. Maybe going for that knockout punch. He's likely going to need it here in this fight. Ramsey now in the corner. See how he responds to this. Is nothing but uppercuts coming here from Antoine. He's missing him. But if he connects, it certainly could do some damage there to Ramsey. He's really trying to get through those gloves. But Ramsey has a great defense. It comes out flying from the corner. Connects on a pair of beautiful punches. And now has Antoine on the defense. Great job of Ramsey to weather the storm of those uppercuts and let him all slide right off his gloves. He was able to come back with a nice combination and force the fight back to the center of the ring where certainly Zachariah Ramsey's at his best when the fight is in the middle of the ring. And there's a, another knockdown there by Ramsey. The two of them connected at the same time and it looked like they were both gonna go down. Great composure there by Ramsey. And Antoine has his elbows up against the rope as the bell rings. And Joe Lapino's got to let him continue to fight here as the round is over. Ramsey looks like he hurt his hand on that punch. Maybe that's what it was. It certainly looked like Ramsey almost lost. Almost lost his composure there in the ring. It looked like he was heading down. And now he's looking over to the corner, shaking his gloves, wondering if Ramsey may have hurt his hand on that punch. Check out the replay here of that knockdown. Ramsey again in the red trunks. Yeah, it looks like he just connected it. May have stung his hand a little bit there. And Antoine wasn't mad about the knockdown. He was mad he got knocked down. Nice solid punch there by Ramsey. He did get hit on the other side of the hook. Still regained his... Momentum was able to get back to the corner. Pair of knockdowns in each of the second and third rounds. They think he's possibly ahead five points going into this fourth and final round. Ramsey only took three rounds to knock out Alan Beeman in his first pro fight. Ramsey there started throwing punches before Joey Lupino even called the start to round number four. And we'll see if Ramsey did hurt his hand, which it looked like he may have indicated it, if now he's gonna lay off, punching with his right hand. See his hands are a little higher here than they have been. He's crouched down a little more. May wanna just get this fight over with here. And a body shot sends him down. Joey Lupino says the glove did not touch. Look close. And now Damon just really swinging, trying to connect on anything here as Ramsey keeps applying the pressure. See Antoine continuing to try to get some separation with the jab. Looks like he may be tiring out here as well. He's trying to get through the round. Again, his 51st pro fight compared to Ramsey's second pro fight. Ramsey much younger and faster than Antoine. That was evident tonight. Decisive first round by Ramsey. A knockdown in the second round, a knockdown in the third round, and now a knockdown here in the fourth round as he sends Antoine down to the canvas. Jerry Lupino now counting with the fighter in his corner. Antoine trying to say he was pushed. I really don't think there was much of a push there. <laughs> Ramsey now with his hands completely up by his temples. First time we've seen him do that in his entire career. One minute to go here in round number four. Ramsey continuing to work the body. Now comes back up top with a pair of punches. Now a bunch of quick punches here up against the ropes. And a miss there by Antoine. And Ramsey really 
piling on here, and that's it. Jerry Lupino steps in to save the day there for Damon Antoine. That was a great stoppage there. There's no way Antoine was coming back to win this fight. That would have been his fourth knockdown in three rounds, and there's certainly no way that a fighter can come back with under a minute to go after being knocked down four times, unless he somehow had a knockout punch that he delivered there. But regardless, it's going to be 2-0 and oh with two knockouts now for Zach Ramsey. You see in the corner there saying he could have done better than that. It was pretty good, pretty good performance. Damon Antoine was just a very tough and durable opponent. He certainly did not come here to lose. To take a punch, a guy who's been in 51 now pro fights, certainly knows what it's like to get in there and get hit. And we'll see a replay here of one of the knockdowns from now 2-0 and Zach Ramsey. And this is actually where they're going to stop the fight. You see he kept connecting with those combinations. And even when he was missing, he was able to come back nicely in a pair of hooks and then an uppercut. And that big left hand, I think, was it for Joey Lupino. He had to step in there and call a halt to the action. Check out this replay one more time before we get the official time on the knockout. All right, let's send it down to ring announcer Bill Carpenter. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time, two minutes, 17 seconds of round number four. Referee Joey Lapino halts the bout. Your winner by TKO, still undefeated, Zachariah, AK-47, Ramsey.